Hello my lovelies and welcome back to my little corner where today we are going to put this little look together using some new products that I haven't gotten to try yet. A couple that blew my frill up in mind. I'm talking about the CoverGirl Clean Matte BB Cream and the Huda Smoky Obsessions Palette which I think turned out really really good. So if you guys want to grab your makeup, grab you a little cup of coffee. Let's hang out and put our makeup on together. All right, darlings, let's get started. So I got the Porefessional Pro Balm uh, Primer. I forgot to grab one upstairs. I was actually gonna use my Glam Glow, but it is what it is. And this stuff does a good job of concealing your pores, so I just wanna hang and grab it. Need to use this stuff before it expires anyway, so you guys ever feel like that, like you're using something just because you don't want it to expire on you? So excited we were gonna have a whole day of filming together and then I just found out that I'm gonna have to go help my husband tonight so that means no sleep lots of work <sighs> but he has no one else to go with him and his dad it's a big floor they're supposed to have four people so I can't like let my man struggle so we're gonna find somebody to watch Sam really quick and I guess I'm going with him. But I've got to get the giveaway announcement for Ponyo filmed for you guys. So congratulations to whoever won that. For, let's see, concealer today. I'm just going to go ahead and use my Born This Way concealer. I have mine in the shade Light Beige. But before I do that, I want to pull out this Wet n Wild Air Collection because there is a mirror in here. And I'm going to use a couple pieces from it today. So let's go ahead and get our mirror out. This is so stinking pretty and I got this on clearance at Walmart, I think for $5. Um, right after the holiday season. <laughs> yes. Okay. Just conceal my lids really quick before we go in and use the palette we're gonna use today. I'm gonna use my Morphe E46 just to blend that out. This mirror is a little small. But hopefully it'll work. I was supposed to get my lashes done this morning, but poor Rissa has um, food poisoning, so she's not working today. We had to cancel our appointment, which is fine. I actually was super productive this morning because I didn't have to go get my lashes done. I was able to get three videos edited, so the videos that you guys saw this week, I got done Saturday. I have so many pre-filmed, guys, I'm getting so behind. I don't even know what to do. I'm going to have to like push some off to get the monthly ones caught up. I don't know. All right, so the eyeshadow palette I grabbed is the Huda Beauty Smoky Obsessions eyeshadow palette. I have, <laughs> it was so hard in editing. Like I wanted to run down here and just go ahead and use it, but I've waited on you guys. So other than me swatching the crap out of it in the last video, she's exactly as we left her. I'm gonna start with this in the crease, then move on to this maybe deep in the outer wing, but I have not decided on which shimmer I'm gonna use and I'll probably smoke out my eyeliner with the black as well so that we can use as many shades as we can today. Oh we might even start with like this in the middle and then just get lighter with this shade because we can always play with those shades I can let you know. This one just looks so stinking gorgeous. I'm curious if they transfer up because my eyes are slightly hooded. I'm gonna pull you guys in so you can see what's going on. So I'm just gonna dip into that shade using my furless brush and we'll put it in the crease. Okay, this may have had, <laughs> I forgot to run it through my clean sweep. I'm feeling like that had another shade mixed in. Let me run it through my clean sweep and try it on the other guy just so we can see. That color looks familiar. Let's see. Yeah. I don't know, they look very similar. Maybe they just look different in the pan. So I was expecting more of a camel color and I see a lot more brown than I was anticipating. My husband does BCT tile floor care, so he strip and strips and waxes floors. <laughs> yeah, lots of jokes involved there. I'm gonna go ahead and dive into this color and kind of deepen up that crease. See how deep and dark we can get. We stick out here. Ooh, that is pretty dark. You know what though? As much as I like to go with like a light 
eyeshadow. When I'm editing the videos where I have done a darker look, I love it. It's so funny in retrospect. Like I'm scared to do it. Then I always like the outcome. So maybe we go a little dark today. So far, these are blending really, really well. Like I'm not even working that hard. Let's go in to the deepest brown and just put that right there. That is pretty too. All of these matte shades kind of stand on their own too. So if you wanted to do a simpler look, you definitely could. So pretty. I'm finding them like really, really easy to use. I'm gonna pull this one in just a smidgen. Have to buff out that upper line on that one. Okay, I'm gonna grab a clean brush. This is my Morphe E30 and I'm just gonna blend upper line a little bit more maybe jump in here where I feel like it's needed okay I'm gonna go ahead and do my little idea I'm doing the darker shimmer here and then the lighter shimmer there so grab this shade first so stinking pretty that's that like rose gold color and then we've got a like a lighter tone I feel of the same color just see if we can't get that in my inner corner a little harder because I have nails long nails I'm gonna grab my Morphe R42 grab that lightest shade Let's see if I can't clean up I should have just used this to begin with I even cut my nails down, but I still find it's really hard to get in small spaces with it. That is so stinking pretty. I just grabbed my Eye Angled Shading P17 brush by SL Miss Glam, and I'm picking up that deepest shade one more time and just get it right there real deep. And I'm gonna grab my Morphe Y21, pick up that same dark shade, and do my lower lash line. And for eyeliner today, I'm just gonna pull out my regular old note. So I'll be right back with you guys. Because all I really did was create a slight micro line with that, what I really want to do is grab the black shade in here with my Inmu brush. It's like an angled brush. And deepen and mattify that up. Kind of smoke it out a little bit. Maybe add a little bit to the lower. I literally cannot wait to play with this palette more, but I think that look turned out pretty darn good. But let's keep on moving because I gotta get to work, 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 work. So instead of foundation today, I have this BB cream. It says it's for oily skin. My skin's not super oily, but I got it at a really good price. Um, I think I found this at the churchyard sale where they had a bunch of bulk makeup, all brand new, and I got it for like a dollar or two. That round. It is the CoverGirl Clean Matte um, BB Cream for Oily Skin. It is in the shade 540 Medium, and I don't know how this is going to go. <laughs> but, I mean, it's a BB Cream, so I figured if nothing else, it'll just look like a tinted moisturizer, and I can finish concealing with my Too Faced Concealer and just go on with my day. 
So I've got my Morphe Y7. I'm gonna go ahead and just put some of that on top. A little bit more than I would with foundation. I think that's okay, right? Because it's a BB cream. Okay, we'll see. I don't use a lot of BB cream, so I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> Which is kind of standard on my channel, guys. If you're new, that's how I do things. Just gonna blend it out like I do all my other foundations and hope that works. Wow. Wow. Um, wow. I mean, that looks really good. It. I'm sorry about the mirror because I know it doesn't look really good, but it's the one I had handy. Holy cow. I really like the way that looks. Whoa. Okay. Well, I mean, we'll see how it wears throughout the day and I'll let you guys know in the description box because I'll use it all week or at least most of the days until... <laughs> I get bored and put on something new um, but I'll let you guys know what I think about it throughout the day but before I go at it with a beauty blender I'm gonna go ahead and conceal really quick um, I'm gonna go line on the concealer because we used a BB cream and not a foundation but I'm still gonna put it in all the same areas as I usually do okay. and now I'm gonna get out my beauty blender well, it's not a beauty, <laughs> beauty blender, it's the Ofer sponge. Which I think does just as good of a job, it's just not as soft and plush as the beauty blender. Okay, this concealer is looking really, really good with this BB cream. Like, dream combo. I'm not crazy, right guys? Like, that looks really good. It's blending right on top of it like it was meant to be together. That's crazy. I don't think I've found a BB cream that I like this well, like the shade and everything for me. I hope this isn't discontinued and that's why I found it, but either way, I should be able to find it on Amazon. Let's find out. While we pounce, let's make sure I can order this again. That's how you know you found something good if the, like the moment you try, you're like, wait a second. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, okay, they still have it. It's just new packaging. I found it on Amazon for $5.59. It is oil, it is cruelty free. I cannot talk. $5.99 and it ships Prime Berber. It's currently out of stock, but it says it's in stock on April 7th. So before that gets super tacky, I'm gonna go ahead and set it. This does not look pretty. I've been using this a lot. The Ofra Banana Powder, I think I need a full size. I absolutely love it. It is my go-to, and I try to really go light on setting powder because I have really dry skin. Well, not really dry skin. My skin has been babied all day. I use that Unicorn Glow by, it's S-O-O-A-E. You find it in the Walmart, like where all their masks are, right outside the beauty department. Um, I use that today, and holy, glow Batman like seriously I was shining like a damn vampire so I basically put it where I put concealer a little heavy I put it on heavy where I put concealer and then I just blend all of that out so I'm gonna use that brush that I use I have fallen for the e56 I use it for that and the fact that it still has setting powder on it is gonna be really nice when I blend out my contour with it my bronzer, I should say. I don't know about contour. I don't really contour that much. Said I was gonna use this cute little mirror, but it's so little. Let's do my brows, cause I feel a little weird. I'm gonna do this quickly though. I'm gonna grab the Brow Gal in the shade Brown Hair 02 and just run it through really quick. Sometimes I'll do like my Anastasia pencil and then use this right after just to kind of set everything. But today I just want to go kind of light on the brows, do a really natural brow look. I just got a big clump right there by accident, but we will fix that. I have pretty thick brows, so I'm just basically filling them in 
Also very blonde and need to get very close to my mirror. Then I just like taking a little eyebrow spoolie and kind of running it through the brows, even if I don't make a mistake. I don't know, I feel like it just loosens up any bigger clumps that were there and smooths everything out really nicely. All right, I'm still seeing some holes. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and pull out my Anastasia and fill in anywhere those that the brow gal missed. Just do a quick little once over. Okay, now that my brows are a little bit stronger, we can move on. So for bronzer today, I'm gonna use my Luxie 522. It is the tapered highlight brush, but I like using it for bronzer. And I went ahead and pulled out the Morphe Debutante Bronzer. I've been dying to try this, like literally dying. I told my husband, I was like, I have so much makeup downstairs. I just wanna go downstairs and play. And this is what I had in mind. So let's just give this a good, ooh. Okay, she's a little powdery. We're gonna lightly dab that. I do not tap that. That is a beautiful shade though. Now that I got that up there, let's go ahead and do my chin. Putting it on a little thick right now, but I'm gonna blend everything out with my Y1 once I'm done with my nose. Oh my gosh, guys, oh, I forgot to tell you. <sighs> my mind was blown. And um, sometime this week, now that I finally sat down with you guys, sometime this week I'll post it on my Instagram stories. <laughs> so we've had Debbie for a while. You guys know the cat that I adopted, rescued from a hawk. Um, she has been doing really good. When we first got her, we took her to the vet. I'm just using my Morphe angled contour brush. Morphe. Elf. Um, you know, we got got her well taken care of, started on all our shots, all that jazz. Well, she's like past six months old now. So we took her in, she's like seven months old, something like that. We took her in to the vet to get spayed. So two hours after I dropped her off, I get a phone call from the vet that Debbie's surgery went really, really well. But they were unable to spay Debbie. You following me? Debbie's a dude. They had to neuter Debbie. My mind has been blown. Like, I don't even know how to process it. I found out in the morning, but I waited until I got home and everybody was home together. And then I told my family together the questions that Sam had. Like, um, mom, real, real quick, me and Carly are trying to go out the door because before, I, I told them before I picked up Debbie who is still Debbie. Um, we're calling him Deb for short, but he is still Debbie. Um, <laughs> it is what it is. It is what he responds to. So, say la vie. I'm just gonna use my Morphe E56 to blend the nose out. So as me and Carly are rushing out the door to take Maverick in, as, as well as pick her up, he was asking me, okay, wait, do boy cats have kittens? And I was like, <laughs> I knew why he was asking. He was asking because, wait, why did Debbie have surgery then? Because we had just talked about we've got to make sure that he's staying away from the other boys, the dogs in the house, that we can give him a little bit of space so he can heal. And he had lots of questions about that. So that was one of them. I thought that was really cute. And then he was like, huh, I don't know. It just confused him. But um, he, I don't know. I don't know. It was just freaking hilarious. And I decided to go ahead and use this to blend out the rest of my bronzer because it was in hand and it really does a good job for that too. Um, I have a feeling I'll be using the bronzer, the BB cream all week long. All right. So for blush, let's see which one looks more. That one's definitely not our look today. I think these are both kind of peachy, but one of them's lighter than the other. I don't know, I just grabbed these two. So one of them has a lot of sheen to it. I'm in the mood for some shine, so I'm gonna go for that one. These are the Benefit, this one's the Gold Rush. And it's like a highlighter blush. This one's more subtle than that one is. 
It does have a sheen to it, but it's not too bad. It's not like um, she just smeared highlighter all over her face. It's just a little bit of a glow and it smells delicious. I love the little brushes that come with them, but I never use them. I just always drop them. I mean, like, let's try it. See, I just, it's, I don't know. I don't know, I can't see me using that. I feel like I should just ditch these brushes or give them to, I don't know, some of the little nieces in the family. Highlighter, we're gonna dive back into the Wet n Wild stuff. I think I'm gonna try this one. I feel like it's less iridescent than that one is. Oh no, there's a nice little white. Okay, we're gonna go for this one. This one has a nice little goldy section. That's usually my jam. So let's try it. Just kinda wanna, ooh, that one's really purpley. Ooh, that one's like, cause I didn't do anything in the inner corner yet either. So I could kind of switch it up. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> I mean like definitely could use these as eyeshadows, as shimmer shadows, very nice. So I'm just gonna rub them in. What I'm gonna do is use this on my cheekbones and then use this white on the inner corner. So I'm gonna start with the white with my Luxie 141 mini round. Pick that up. Oh, yeah. Man, Wet n Wild does such an amazing job with their highlighters. I really think that if you are a gal on a budget, that's where you can save some money with highlighters with them, setting powders with them. Some of their foundations are really nice. Mm. Lip liners. There's a lot of stuff by Wet n Wild. They're a pretty, pretty good drugstore brand. So I'm gonna go back to my old Morphe R37 for highlighter and I'm gonna pick up that gold shade. It's a little smaller than the one that I've been playing with lately and I feel like it'll just be easier to get in the pan. Mm -hmm. That's pretty. It had to like catch the light before I saw it, but yeah. Oh, I love it. Yes. Wet and wild. How do you do it? All right. I'm going to go ahead and put some on my nose and on my Cupid's bow. Kind of go a little overboard because I always blend out. Like I haven't blended out my blush yet either. I'll blend out my blush and my highlighter all together. And I always do my eyes first when I'm doing my makeup. That way, if anything falls onto my face, I can cover it up with foundation or wipe it away before I do foundation. All right, grabbing my Morphe Wab One yet again. Just kind of blend all of that in, kind of mindfully. Wow, I like this look. I feel like I use like a lot of drugstore stuff too, right? Whoa, that's cute. That's just plain cute. I'm gonna go ahead and put some mascara on my lower lashes. I haven't gotten to use this one that much. I said I was gonna use it a lot and then I played with the Dalton Beauty stuff a lot as soon as it came into my possession out of the uh, box that it was hiding in for like a week. So this is the Wander Beauty Mile High Club Volume and Length Mascara. I just wanna bring some light to my lower lashes, but honestly, during the week, I have not been putting on mascara on my lower lashes and it's all because I get like raccoon eyes halfway through the day even with some of my favorite mascaras I get a little bit of transfer it's because I rub my eyes so much I have contacts and I'm constantly messing with them where are we at oh lip okay I have to find a lip liner that'll go good with this I think I just did I've got the NYX Retractable Lip Liner in Sand Beige. You guys have seen me use this bad boy a lot. We're gonna play with one of the doll tan lippies that I got. Oh man, I retracted that a little too much. All right. This is a beautiful lip liner. I absolutely love it.
kind of overlined my upper lip. I don't ever do that, but I thought, what the hell. I always like trying new stuff when we hang out. Now that we are properly lined, and I love NYX lip liners, they are awesome, we are going to use Flirt Alert. It is their dual ended lipstick. I'm sure it has more um, information on it than that. The lip gloss is called Stop and Stare. Flirt Alert is the lipstick, so we're gonna go ahead and start with the lipstick. It's a beautiful shade. This is one of the ones I just could not put away in our giveaway. So let's see. Hmm. I've got a big dry spot on my lip. Other than that, let's try the lip gloss over it. And I will put the rest of the Wet n Wild stuff that we haven't used, I'll just kind of put it loose in the box. Ooh, I love like dope foots like that. I love it when they like hug your lips. Can you guys see that? And can you guys see that? And we found that their lipsticks do that too, right? So I love that. I, I don't know, it just feels more luxurious. Mmm. The lip gloss brings it to life. That's nice. I feel like that helped me smooth out the lip liner too. Love this. This is so cool. And then I did bring a setting spray down here, but I'm going to kind of let it go off a little bit because I swear if you don't use it for a while, the first time you use it, you get a really bad wide cast if you don't spray it a couple times. But this is the, oh, it smells so good. The Peach Mist by Tooth, Tooth Faced. This is the Peach Mist by Too Faced, their mattifying setting spray. It is infused with peach and sweet fig cream. It smells delicious. Let's see if I got a white cast. I don't see one. I think my little like idea of like spritzing it out, I think that works. All right, my lovely, so that is it. That is today's look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you like it. And if you did, please give me a big old thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, consider subscribing. I am feeling my look today, but really quick before I go upstairs and like ooh and all at how cute this turned out. I like saying hello to my new subscribers as you guys join me, as long as your account is public. Speaking of which, that reminds me of someone who commented and said they did not get their shout out because they didn't realize their YouTube account was private. Let's see if I can find her and say hi. And then we'll jump over and say hi to the new subscribers. I feel like it was Heather. We're gonna look through here and just double check. Yes, I was right, it's Heather Hernandez. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and I love that like you stayed at the end and you've been listening for your name. I wanna make sure that you get my little warm hello. But let's also say hello to Charity Smiles, how cute. Olivia Baker, Noite Santia, Miss Bauman, Kelly Lynn Murphy, and Single Savvy, shoppers thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel i really do appreciate it you have no idea and especially if you're watching today say hi i feel like the group that watches my get ready with me like you you like me you really like me because i don't know what i'm doing i'm not a makeup artist but i really do appreciate you guys coming around coming around and hanging out with me got <laughs> some country so I, I hope you guys have a lovely day just take care of yourselves do something fun do something you really want to do or do something that's going to cause you less stress in the coming weeks have a great day guys i'll see you soon bye